You are supposed to counsel your subordinates. When they come to your organization after they finish basic training and Army individual training, you're supposed to sit them down, ask them what they're looking for out of life, tell them what you're looking out from them as a soldier, and then you check on each other monthly. When you do that, you kind of help them build that guide path to where if they want to stay in, they got a guide plan for 20 years, or if they want to get out, they know all the things they need to do within that four-year time frame because they're constantly being counseled about it. We don't do that like we used to. And that's part of the old school military that when I came in, the Vietnam vets set me to the side and said, hey, you need to take care of these soldiers. Don't skip a counseling month. You need to counsel them when they're doing good as well as doing bad because that's your job. Now, the last part of this is all on Congress and all these politicians. They should not be allowed to cut benefits from service members. And I'm not just talking about the dental and medical that they switch up on us, but like you were talking about with people getting blown up and stuff. They shouldn't have to fill out document after document and hope to get um, a house or something. It should be, okay, what did you do? I got my fucking leg blowed off in the wreck. There's your house, buddy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It should be that quick. But yeah. they do all this, and it pisses me off because they do all this to the military. But when you look at congressmen and women that have two houses, sometimes three houses, they don't go through that paperwork. They get paid more, and their medical benefits are way better than ours. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm a strong proponent for people joining the military, especially when they don't have nothing to do, I am still 38 hot with our politicians that say, Thank you for your service, but take everything that they can from us. And right. the last thing I'm going to leave on that is I think everybody that joins the military should consider running for office when they get out. 